Hey everybody, in this video we wanted to summarize the Canadian uh, support programs available for business owners. So this is those that have an incorporation in Alberta, they earn for realtors that earn their commissions into that corporation and potentially employ staff. So this is uh, programs designed for them. So there's three main three main programs and we've seen a lot of kind of misinformation. There's the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, CERB. Uh, there's the Canadian Emergency Wage Subsidy, CWS. And then there's a Canadian Emergency Business Account. That's the $40,000 loan program. So the first we did a separate video on, that's for uh, anyone that's uh, operating independently, uh, earning uh, commissions as an individual. So they received a T4A as a self-employed person or for those who paid themselves a T4, you may be eligible to uh, receive CERB, which is the $2,000 a month uh, benefit if you haven't received a paycheck in uh, a two week period minimum. So there's a separate video that talks about that and you can consult with your accountant if you're unsure how uh, you fit and how you filed for that. But for those that are incorporated, the two main programs are the CWS, which is the 75% wage subsidy, and then the uh, Canadian uh, business Emergency Business Account, which is a 40K loan program. So I'll talk about the loan program first, because I believe that's the, the one that's of most value to our industry and to realtors. So if you have a corporation and you paid payroll through that corporation, so you issued, that corporation issued a T4 last year for a minimum of $50,000. So that could have been to pay yourself as the employee of your, your corporation, or you could have had other staff as well, uh, cumulatively. But the main criteria that's getting missed by a lot of people is the $50,000 minimum. Uh, if you had T4 income that you paid out to yourself or others, uh, that the company paid of 50 grand, then you can apply for a loan that's an interest-free loan for up to $40,000 that uh, has no fixed uh, payment terms, etc. And it's uh, open until December 31st of 2022. And then that's uh, government guaranteed loan as well. And then um, uh, if you pay the full thing back by the end of December 31st, 2022, $10,000 or 25% of it can be forgiven. So it's literally free money if you pay back the rest of it by then. So this loan program, and if you don't, they amortize it over three years after that and there's a 5% interest rate, um, which is very reasonable as well for that type of open fixed loan. So it's designed for businesses that uh, can keep some cash injected into their company uh, for operating costs, including staff and payroll and the like. So that's the best one I think that's available for us in, uh, in our industry in real estate. And you apply for that through your bank directly. So it's a loan that's administered by your bank. The big five banks are uh, already kind of rolling this out here this week. I just received the information from TD today. Uh, so depending on who you bank with, you apply through your bank directly. And make sure one of the first things you're going to need is the T4 summary uh, from your tax filing for the prior year. So for us here at the brokerage, we have uh, we use Ceridian Payroll Services, and so we have a statement from Ceridian that's a summary of all the the payroll that we paid last year. That's the main uh, thing that we're going to need to apply for this loan. Um, but the uh, same thing for myself as an individual, uh, I pay myself to my corporation and I draw a salary out of my corporation and issue a T4 from there. Uh, I'll be applying for this loan program through that corporation as well. So for a lot of realtors, that's the, the best one available. Now, if you have staff, that staff can include yourself. Uh, if you're t T4ing yourself uh, or if you have other administrative staff, independent contractors uh, that you might have uh, aren't applicable. This is like t Ford staff. You can apply for the Canadian wage subsidy. That's the 75% um, subsidy and it's the one that I've seen the most kind of misinformation about. They've finally released uh, some further details this week uh, that relate to the qualification. So generally speaking, you have to have an income gross income drop of a minimum of thirty thousand dollars or thirty percent, and then if your in your gross income in the company dropped by thirty percent, you can qualify for this subsidy of seventy five percent. My understanding at this current time, because it's still an ever evolving, moving thing, and I've got information from several accounting firms and others, um, is that 
the that 75% subsidy you receive is taxable income. So at the end of this year, uh, your or your uh, uh, fiscal period for your company, that income will be reported as taxable. Uh, so you're going to have to pay tax on that at the end of the day, and uh, you still need to provide 25% of the wage subsidy to the employee uh, uh, of the company. And so the net benefit there, you really have to look at for yourself. And there's a lot of accounting, additional accounting work that's going to be required with that. Um, so there's some additional details below, uh, but generally that's designed to keep staff employed and keep those companies with those staff so they don't go on CERB or EI. Um, but for a lot of us in our industry, it's not really the tool we need right now. Uh, the loan program is a much better tool for that. But if you're interested or you're deciding between temp layoffs or uh, for any admin staff or payroll staff, um, the other option is, and the clarification there, is that if the staff last the prior year, so 2019, received a T4 under 48,000, they're better off applying for CERB and receiving the $2,000 a month. If they made more than 54,000, um, so it's like a gap there where there's a bit of a, a gray area. So they got you got, got up to talk to your accountant to, to confirm on that. But if they made more than 54,000, they're better off to go on EI because their EI payment will be slightly higher than they will receive on the $2,000 per month. So hopefully that helps clear up some of those uh, things. So the two main programs for business owners are the Canadian Emergency Business Account, which is the $40,000 loan program you apply through your bank. And secondly is the Canadian Emergency Wage, wage Subsidy, CWS. That's the 75% subsidy. Uh, not as applicable. We're not really recommending it to any of our realtors to use, but it is available for you there as well. And if you're wondering about the uh, Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, so the $2,000 a month CERB program, uh, we have a separate video that talks about that below. Stay safe out there and uh, we're all in this together and we'll get through it and uh, be stronger than ever coming out of it.